I got some medicine PS4 and PS5 nowadays and made it Maniac YouTube. Elite Dangerous. Elite is probably my favourite video game ever simply because I played it on the Commodore 64 years ago and I loved it. It's a game that uh, you really have to role play in your head or I find I think that that's the best way for me. People can play it online and chat to each other and stuff but I like playing solo play because that's what I did back in the day on the Commodore 64. Made up my own stories and what have you and he had a book to read the Dark Wheel. He got that in the box with the cassette because I played it on a cassette and then you could save your progress and it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And um, as you can see from the beginning there, I took a couple of contracts to uh, wipe out a couple of targets for a faction. One of them is deadly rank and the other one is just novice rank. And they're both in the same system so I set off in a bounty hunter that I built, uh, an alliance chieftain. It's not fully engineered but I've engineered quite a bit of it. And I like the ship, it's very manoeuvrable. I don't use um, the full unassisted controls. I'm on a PlayStation 4 pad so I'm using the assisted controls. And I'm using a most obviously because pad but also because I'm just not familiar with the unassisted controls. So anyway we have to um, locate our targets but the Alliance Chieftain is very good ship I find. It's very manoeuvrable and it doesn't have the most firepower. I do own every single ship and some of them I own twice. Um, I've done a lot of exploration. I've been to Beagle Point all by myself in the Crate Phantom that I built, built and I've been to the Heart and Soul Nebula in an Aspect Explorer and I've, I've done quite a bit of exploring. I've been to Colonia and to Sagittarius A and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I've done a lot of cargo missions in my trusty Python which basically built all my empire as I like to call it, all my credits and you know bought a lot of ships. You start out in the Sidewinder and my journey to you know all the ships in the game was Sidewinder to Cobra, Cobra to Keelback, Keelback to Aspect Explorer, Aspect Explorer to Python and Python to just everything else. <laughs> yeah but the, the Chieftain's a really good good ship and I've got it with fuel scoops and I've got it with an interdictor and a kill warrant scanner. Um, so it's my absolute purpose built bounty hunter so I can chase targets across systems. I'm not completely sure that I've got the layout of the weapons right. My two two beam lasers are occupying the main uh, hard point slots and then I think unless one of them is I think I might have changed a lot round. Um, I can't really remember how I built it now but I, I do remember I think the hard the uh, Multi cannon slots I found were a bit too weak, and I think I've changed them, change them around a little bit. So I think I've got a decent setup. Um, yeah, I think I did. But we're closing in on one of the targets now. I love the Python as well. I, I my Python really is the ship that, like I said, it built everything that I've got, all my billions of credits, pretty much, and 
every ship that they own it's all down to the python really obviously the foundation of the journey to get to the python but yeah that python is a brilliant ship here we are taking down one of the targets the novice one and Shields down first. Switch over to the multi cannons. I'm not that familiar with combat. I've mostly done exploring and cargo missions. I used to be able to get quite a lot from cargo missions. My Python holds 160 tons of cargo as well as having hard point slots to defend myself and you know the things about it. It's an extremely good ship and uh, I'm planning to do a pirate version of the Python. It's one of the things I really really want to do. Try a bit of piracy as well. one target down but we're being attacked here I think by another ship which is the other target who unfairly joined in <laughs> so I'm uh, I'm legging it my shields are down took me by surprise, I was focused on the weaker target and he jumped in and started attacking me, he's dangerous ranked so trying a bit of evasive manoeuvres just jump out of it try and get my shields back up I was going to go back to the system to repair and then come back here and fight him. That was the plan. Frameshift drive charging. Yeah, but I used to be able to get 7 to sort of 11 million, I think I've had, just from one mission taking cargo in my python. Uh, I just have to do a couple of runs sometimes if it if I needed to take 180 tons of my python has a capacity of 160 tons. Um, but nonetheless you know a payout of up to 11 million for one mission was great and obviously that got nerfed in the game. Um, so I've, I've been wondering how I can earn a lot of money and I found that my bounty hunter can do that job. Um, I took a, a mission a, a bit ago, I'm going to try and make a separate video of it, but I took a mission by mistake that was for a wing and obviously I'm playing in solo play, but I had to take down about 25 uh, ships. I had quite a bit of time to do it and it wasn't that difficult so I, I did it quite easily and I got paid 9 million for that and obviously if you use a kill warrant scanner before you do it some of them have additional bounties on top of that so I got additional money so I ended up with you know um, over 10 million for, for that so that was you know, pretty decent really it was relatively easy as well like I say so what I'm finding with these missions to take down targets is the kill warrant scanner does give you additional bonuses because you're already getting paid for the mission so just use your kill warrant scanner to get additional funds because some of them have additional bounties on them and stuff so yeah I can rake it in 
so I'm going to be doing quite a few more of these. Get some funds after I've spent a lot building ships and things like that because you have to try different builds and then sometimes if your build's not working you have to swap things around and, and that like a bit of a thing. I've got an Asp Scout that I absolutely love. I love the Asp Scout. I love it because it's good um, and I'm determined to make good use of it because I think it's probably the most hated ship in Elite Dangerous. Um, and I don't think it's a bad ship, I think it's an extremely manoeuvrable uh, ship. And I think if you roleplay, you know, in your head, and you make things up, I think you can make a roll for the S of Scout. And mine, mine's going to be used just as a Scout. It's not an Explorer. The Freight Phantom and Asp Explorer do that job. Um, but the S of Scout is a very decent... Uh, ship and I think it can be useful for getting information on systems closer to uh, like your base, your you know operations, and it can be used for search and rescue stuff. Um, it will have weapons, and I will fight if I need to uh, in ships, and I've already done that. I've already taken a few ships out with it, so that's good. And I'm going to engineer it, you know, more and make use of this out because it's a cool ship but this ranked deadly uh, this python ranked deadly for this mission is um, is nearing its end now we've got additional help from one of the security forces system security forces I think defense forces and um, yeah it's, uh, it's on its way out Love the explosions and that in this game. Really cool. It's really cool when you go in in the rings of a, a system and you're you know dog fighting in there. Got our missions done, so collect our bounty now. We can see if they dropped anything for us and they did so I'll pick them up and head back to the system and get paid so here we are my chieftain is called false gods after a covenant um, EP field works excursions and Covenant are a Swedish electronic band who I really like and False Gods is a song so you can see the payout I'm getting there I've got another chieftain called Blind in Dark which is an album by Covenant so get the money rolling in and also because I use the kill warrant scanner I can get the additional funds that I talked about and obviously the more ships you take down and use the kill warrant scanner on the more additional funds you get. I'll catch you next time, take care.